morning, just getting ready to set off on a 65 mile gravel ride today. Just waiting for Andy to show up. Beautiful day, nice and sunny. Got lots of sunscreen on. Got my sandwiches packed, lots of drink, and ready to go. How's it going? Ready and raring to go? Anyhow, are we on camera? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So this is a route that starts off on the Five Pits Trail that we ride all the time. And then ultimately makes its way to Clumber about halfway round. Then onto Rother Valley Country Park. Back through Poolsbrook, Poolsbrook. Along the canal through Chesterfields and back home. Should take about seven hours riding, maybe nine hours total with coffee and cake. That's annoying. We ride it all the time. We come all the way up there for years, for years through there and the fence is there. Yeah. It's almost like they don't want people doing it. Mike's heavy with all this liquid on it. So this is where we leave the most common path we normally do with the five pits and head towards Plesley Pit. We've done 11 miles. It's gone quite quick, really. Done just under an hour. Right. That's quite a good, good going, yeah. yeah. And there's Plesley Pit, right ahead. Oh, this is all those murals. Oh, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, well, where that was, lad, this is meat and trout. Me and my mate, we used to come running down here. Yeah, he always used to have slash just there. Look at all this wild garlic. Fantastic. So one of the reasons we're doing this ride is to practice for a bikepacking trip we're doing in about a month's time around Norfolk. And Andy's got me all freaked out because the first day of that ride is 75 miles with about probably about 12 kilograms of camping equipment on the bike. So today is supposed to be a practice to make us feel better. Welcome to Mansfield Woodhouse. This is one of my favorite parts. Absolutely beautiful. Andy put his brakes on a bit too sharp and the Garmin started trying to send a message. Did it send a message to say you were dead? Yeah, it did. No. Yeah. You need to be more gentle on your brakes. Time for my first bit of food as well. Here we are at the Dog and Duck. I'm going to go left and this is, we're really close to Sherwood Pines. Sherwood Pines is that way and this way to Clumber Park and this is cycle route 6 and I think we'll stay on route 6 for quite a long time don't we? I think I found Paul's caravan. So we haven't done this ride now for two years and we did it just after lockdown when we were allowed to meet with one other person so it's quite good. The last time along here Andy got a pinch puncture, no just a puncture right? Yeah. And then we spent an hour fixing it and neither one of us had a decent end tube with us and neither one of us had a puncture repair kit so we were struggling for a while. We're supposed to go down here. So what's the top of just climbing over it? Detour time. What could possibly go wrong? A bit rough. Oh yes, beautiful. I take it back. I like the detour. into Clover Park, we've done, uh, we're just not quite halfway, probably done what, 30 miles? Yeah. We've done 30 miles, got 34 to go, and um, we've made the decision in accordance with the unofficial rules 
we're not going to stop to get anything to eat at Clumber because it's not halfway yet. So we'll probably try and get lunch or eat some sandwiches when we've hit about 40 miles with 22 or 25 to go after that. Should be about right. Cafe's down there. We're going up here. Apparently we're at Manton, wherever that is. Never heard of it, Manton. Route 6 goes right through this place. I've been told I don't look like I'm enjoying myself enough, so I'm enjoying myself. All right, so we're heading on to Chesterfield Canal for a bit. He loves canals, I hate them. At least it's not busy. Have for a little snack, keep me going. Everything looks beautiful in the sun. Hello swan, is this one up there on a nest? Look at that, it's like a postcard. And look, people are freeing up our bench, so we can have lunch on our bench. I seem to have picked something up. Well, I've got a belly full of sausage sandwiches and lead legs now. We're roughly in the middle of the video now, so now would be a good time to remind you to click the like button below because apparently it makes a big difference to whether YouTube recommends my videos or not. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to be reminded of any other videos I make. And if you really want to be notified, click the notification bell. And you'll be swearing about that bus now. And that car. Oh, thank goodness we're off that road. This is a nice park. Wow, look at that view. Look at that over there. Hopefully you can see it. First GoPro battery dead. But this time I actually remembered to bring a spare. Oh, what a beautiful entrance to Rother Valley Country Park. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, time for a coffee stop, I think. Maybe coffee and a cake, I don't know. I've never seen it this busy before, ever. It's unbelievable. This is not as busy down here as I thought it was going to be. Right, so we've got 17 miles to go. 17, yeah. 45 done. Mm. How, do you feel, how do you like to feel? April? Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Normally, when we get here, we feel knackered. Yeah, I think I feel alright. Yeah. I remember this next bit feeling like a real drag every time, but. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we're both way fitter than last time we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took me a little bit to get the legs going again. This is the bit that's always felt like it dragged in the past. Eight miles. I'm not tired, yeah, but, but everything's a bit sore. Yeah. Yeah. Playing your favourite music. Is it Chesterfield just up ahead? Let's just see the crooked spire. Chesterfield train station.
just the last stretch now, Wingworth Washlands, which is beautiful on a day like today, isn't it? Isn't it? Are oh, you asking me? Yeah, yeah it's lovely. 3.86 miles to go. Mm. Oh, three and a half to the pub anyway. Pint at the top and tap. Don't mind if I do. There you go. Cheers. Cheers, yeah. What do you reckon? Was it hard? It was a lot easier than last time. Was it that way? Yeah, definitely a lot easier than last time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one, which will probably be bikepacking through Norfolk in about a month.